temperature, erosion comprises of the detachment, transport, and subsequent deposition of weathered materials such as soil or rock due to the force of gravity and aided and accelerated by a moving fluid such as wind or water. Sedimentation is a result of the final phase of erosion when eroded materials such as soil particles and contaminants are deposited. It is especially harmful in receiving water bodies. In this photo, we can see the lake at the bottom of an eroded hill with very turbid brown water. Just like the processes of erosion and sedimentation are linked, their controls also go hand in hand, as we will examine later in the course. Gravity and moving fluids are the natural driving forces of erosion, but there are many contributing factors such as geological, climatic, and anthropogenic conditions that should be taken into account for erosion control. Here we can see rolling gully erosion on the unprotected exposed soils on a construction site. Urban sprawl, where new developments are built away from cities, destroys natural landscapes. The first two lead categories aim to mitigate this, as we will see later. With the global population growth, the built environment is expanding further into surrounding natural habitats, removing more and more of the Earth's natural and most effective erosion control measures, forests and vegetation. It is more cost and time effective to stabilize soils and control erosion before setting up sedimentation measures. As we can see in the photo, if the slopes were vegetated and bare soils had been stabilized, there wouldn't be sediment in the culvert which now needs to be controlled. However, for the best results, both erosion and sedimentation controls should be used in combination for all projects. When a site assessment is properly conducted, it can help with the following categories. Integrative process, energy and atmosphere, or EA, to help determine possible passive and active energy efficiency strategies, as well as placements for renewable energy systems, and indoor environmental quality, or EQ, for placement of windows and orientation of the building. This credit aims to provide habitat and promote biodiversity by conserving existing natural areas and restoring damaged ones. This was also seen in the first erosion and sedimentation control practice, preserve natural vegetation, as well as in the soil protection and restoration practice. <laughs>